Hello, this is Professor Scott Norman, and we're at the Pittsburgh State University Automotive Technology Lab, and today we're doing another lesson on air conditioning. Today I want to talk about vacuum readings and evacuation of the air conditioning system. So I have a brand new machine that is a 134A recycling, recovering, evacuating machine, and I wanted to test to see how well the vacuum pump was, because this is an unknown unit. So I went ahead and hooked this up to a 2011 a uh, Chevrolet vehicle in which it was low on refrigerant so I pulled all the refrigerant out and then I evacuated it for about 15-20 minutes and then I shut the system off and that was yesterday so it's been sitting here for 24 hours under a vacuum I wanted to see what the machine would do and also if this vehicle would, had any leaks and so one of the problems with air conditioning gauges is that the amount of gauge face that is showing vacuum is, you know, around that much. You know, you have 360 degrees of gauge information. Most of it is PSI, and there's very, very little sliver down at the bottom. About that much is reading vacuum from 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 zero to uh, 30 inches of, of 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 mercury. And so, when you look at a normal vacuum gauge like you would to measure maybe intake manifold vacuum, you know, it has at least 180 degrees of gauge face that is reading vacuum which is a lot more accurate gauge. So this gauge right here is very, very inaccurate. It's, it's hard to determine uh, if you have very, a very minor problem. And so, so by looking at this gauge reading, I, I can't tell if that's 30 inches of mercury, if that's 29, if that's 28. If someone didn't calibrate this gauge for altitude, and maybe you're a thousand or two thousand feet above sea level that's enough that it's going to be maybe one or two inches of mercury off over here and so it's pretty important to know if this system is able to evacuate down to 29 inches of mercury maybe 28 inches of mercury you know what's it capable of and so so every once in a while i will hook up an electronic vacuum gauge to a car or to uh, uh, to an HVAC unit to make sure that it is reading accurately for for very in-depth diagnosis. Um, I relate to this gauge reading as maybe like a sight glass. You know, with the old sight glasses that we had on AC systems, they're an indicator. They tell you something, but when you need to have very in-depth diagnosis, this doesn't do very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot this this over a little bit so you can see what I have over here. So I, I have my electronic. Vacuum, vacuum gate set up over here on the low side port. My recovery machine is hooked up to the high side service port. And again, this thing has been sitting now for over 24 hours, and now I have 29.895 inches of mercury. So that's a lot more accurate reading as far as a digital vacuum gauge to let me know that my vacuum pump on my recovery equipment does do a really good job. It also tells me that there's no leaks in the system, that the system's been able to hold vacuum for 24 hours, and so I'm pretty confident that there's no leaks in it. I do want to change, though, the uh, unit of measurements because uh, we typically are now going to using microns as a unit of measurement, which is one millionth of a meter. Typically, we want under a thousand microns. You know, some some uh, uh, books will say, you know, down the you know, 600, 500, 400 microns as far as uh, when you evacuate. So this thing has is, is been able to hold uh, 600 uh, microns, you know, for 24 hours. If I set it for another day, it would still hold it. So if there's no leaks in the system, you know, it's going to be able to hold a vacuum for a very long amount of time. So why this is important is that if you hook up your micron gauge and, and then you get it down to, let's say, 600 and you shut the system off, and within five minutes, you see it start to rise, you know, 600, 700, 800, 900, you have a leak, you know, and so uh, this is a very small measurement, and it's much more accurate than the normal gauge you're normally looking at on your uh, AC gauge set. This is Scott Norman, and if you're looking for more information about air conditioning lessons, you could visit my Professor Pintain YouTube channel. You guys have a good day. Thank you very much.